today we've been looking around the sites, four science sites that are two of them in Canterbury and two of them in Otago, and this is one of them. And we've been looking around to see uh, what impact the RHDV1K5 release has had in the area. So we're trying to work out how quickly the virus moves from one group of rabbits to another group of rabbits. Yeah, well, it depends how old it is. Yeah. We could take sample that bone. Yeah. If it's the virus that killed it, it would still contain the virus. The first thing we wanted to know is whether the K5 was killing rabbits in our release sites, and that seems to be the case. Um, now we want to know is how quickly is the virus moving away from the release sites and through natural spread and infecting nearby rabbit populations. We've got what we call satellite sites where we've, we know there are rabbits and we're monitoring them and we're seeing rabbits die three to four kilometres away from the release site. So RHDV spreads either from rabbit to rabbit contact or from contact of naive rabbits with uh, faeces from an infected rabbit or from bedding material. It also spreads across the land much, much faster than it could by rabbit to rabbit contact because rabbits don't move very far day to day. And what the Australians believe and we believe is that it's flies that are carrying the virus from one area to another. And in Australia they've shown that rabbit virus can move uh, 15 to 40 to 60 kilometres in a month. And what we're not sure in New Zealand is how quickly it moves here. We have fewer flies, it's a bit colder, and that's one of the um, answers that we hope to, to learn from this research project. With a natural spread, the infection um, builds much more gradually, but we see a longer period of infection. It'll be six to eight weeks, the virus will still be slowly spreading through the rabbit population. And we want to see this virus establish and be here long term as a new biocontrol agent. It's not going to see the huge 80-90% die-off that we saw back in 97. What we're expecting to see is anywhere between 0 and 40% increase in the number of rabbit deaths due to the K5.